supremacy, where black people are liberated and all people are free. We were, we were devastated to see the uprise of violence and hate rhetoric caused by white supremacists and white nationalists. We were so disappointed that after last year, after the violence white nationalists incited and the resulting death of Heather Heyer at the last Unite the Right, that the National Park Service would then say, let's bring it to D.C. Exactly. We're telling the National Park Service to not, don't permit racism, right? D.C. is not a political playground for white supremacist views and ideals. Real people live here. We are here to confront the white supremacy and will not ignore the hate they incite. White nationalists intend to induce fear and to terrorize us. And we know that historically, ignoring white nationalists never works. We're going to create a safe space for people to lift their voices in opposition of white supremacy and the hate rhetoric intended to terrorize our communities. We know our people will be safe because we've educated our people and we are a strong network of organizers. Black Lives Matter is here because it's important to be clear that the real people that live in this community are hurt by these actions, that there are real people who are dying at the hands of white supremacy in D.C. and across the world today. We are not just here to block white supremacy. We're also here to promote black liberation, right? Today we can block white supremacy, but we're gonna continue to build these relationships. And I know that everyone here is gonna be supporting all of the dope black organizers that have been coming up on this stage to make sure that they can win their goals for their city, right? Exactly. So for the black folks in the room, I want to tell you that I love you and that it is amazing that you took the bravery and that you took the risk to even come out here today. And that for me from Black Lives Matter, one of the things that we're going to be continuing to do after this rally is inspire people to one, have organized resistance, two, black healing, three, black joy, all that we could have black liberation. <clears throat> A year ago, when the man in the house down the street, the White House, which like this country was built on stolen land, which like this country was built by stolen people, when he said after the murderous attack in Charlottesville that there were good people on both sides, When he said that, he put a target on our backs. He put a target on our backs if we're black, if we're brown, if we're women, if we're queer, if we're people with disabilities, if we're Jewish, if we're Muslim, and if we stand with any of those people. And when I say that, I want to remember our sister, our fallen comrade, Heather Heyer, who courageously marched last year in Charlottesville, not just for herself, but for other people too. And I know there are people here today who are marching not just for ourselves, but for other people too, under attack. Don't let anyone tell you that the way to deal with fascists is to ignore them. We know our history. We have seen where this has gone in Europe with the Nazis. We have seen where this has gone in this country with the Klan. It is not a mystery what will happen if we let these people do what they are doing. Many of us grew up saying, never again. Today we want to show the world what it means to fight for never again. <laughs> the fascists assembling in Lafayette Square are not just harmless, misguided internet trolls. They are violent and murderous 
and they have the support and the inspiration of the President of the United States. He has inspired them, not only with what he has said, but with what he has done. Because the fact is that ICE is terrorizing migrant communities in our community. The fact is that the police have been unleashed on black and brown people across this country. And it is also the case that he is warmongering because if we are telling the truth about the nastiness here that we have to deal with, it means not just talking about what is happening here within the borders of the U.S. or what's happening at the borders, but what the U.S. is doing outside of its borders also. <laughs> Fighting white supremacy that they represent will take more than just our protest today. This is bigger than that. Fighting the misogyny and the trans misogyny that they represent will take more than our protest today. I am not only against the far right. I am not only against Donald Trump. I am for a revolution to transform this country. And we are people that refuse to separate children from their parents. We are people that stand up for racial justice and racial inclusivity. We are people that value diversity. We are people that stand against this hateful message that these fools in the White House and these fools in Congress are trying to perpetrate on the people of this nation. We are not going to stand for it. We will never be silent. When I first heard that these folks on the anniversary of this murder, this murder in Charlottesville, Virginia, were coming to Washington, D.C., I had to say, hell no, not in my town. Hell no, are you going to be here and not be contested. We need to understand that these folks have wrapped their arms, when I say these folks, these folks in power have wrapped their arms around these white supremacist hate-filled organizations, have not only wrapped their arms around them, but included them in its administration, included them in its policy making. That's what we're up against. We got to once again make it unpopular to be racist, to make it unpopular to view hatred, to make it unpopular. We got to chase these fools out of the White House, out of Congress, out of our city. This city is for decent, loving, justice minded people. That's what we stand for. And we're going to do that today, tomorrow, and always for however long it takes to turn this country around and make this country the just and inclusive place that it should be. I'm glad to see you out here. Thank you for being out here. Continue your work. Continue your marching. Continue your shouting. Continue to stand up and don't back down from anybody. God bless you. Prepare! 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 Prepare!